they make mushrooms on a massive scale. Along this corridor, there are 48 rooms, and each one has mushrooms growing inside. They grow 160 tons of mushrooms every week. That's half a million packs like this. And if you stacked them all up, they would be four times higher than Mount Everest. That's a lot of mushrooms. Unlike plants, mushrooms don't grow from seeds like this. Instead, they grow from something called a spore, but spores are so tiny we can't see them. They're microscopic. And to see microscopic things, you need a very special microscopic camera. This helps us see things a thousand times bigger than they actually are. So let's see if we can see the microscopic spores on this glass slide. Wow, can you see that? All of those tiny little dark ovals, those are the spores. And every single one of those will grow into a mushroom. The first thing we need to make a spore into a mushroom is compost and it gets delivered here in this big lorry. And look, there it is, going up that conveyor belt now. It's really noisy, isn't it? We can use compost to grow lots of things, like plants, flowers and vegetables in the garden. This compost is made of straw, water and a powder called gypsum. But it's a bit smelly. That's because the last important ingredient is poo from farm animals like chickens. This machine spreads a layer of compost onto a mat and then a layer of a type of soil called peat is added on top before it all gets a sprinkling of water. The spores have already been mixed into this compost and because they have grown a little, they're now called spawn. They're moved inside to grow some more on these long factory shelves. They're a bit like bunk beds, but for mushrooms. To help the spawn grow, everything inside the room is controlled by a computer. The temperature, the amount of air, even the water. The computer controls an automatic watering system, which sprinkles water through here to keep the soil nice and moist. takes just 17 days to grow a mushroom of this size. But how do we go from the spawn in the compost mixture to this? Let's see what happens at the different stages of growing. The spawn has been left to grow on these shelves for seven days and it's turned into something called mycelium. And can you see all of this white cobweb-like stuff on top of the soil? Well, that's the mycelium, these tiny white threads. And now the computer will tell this room to get really, really cold. And that cold temperature will make the mycelium clump together and turn into mushrooms. In just two days' time, tiny mushrooms start to pop up. And look at all of these. I think they look a bit like little snowmen, don't you? These aren't quite big enough yet. Once the mushrooms have popped out of the compost, they grow twice as big every day. Until they're finally ready. The mushrooms in here have been growing for 17 days, and that means they're ready for picking, and I've been given special permission to help. You should never pick mushrooms you find yourself. These mushrooms are grown especially to eat. Now, today, we're looking for mushrooms that are about that size. We call them button mushrooms. To pick them, all I need to do is give the mushroom a twist. I need to just give it a quick trim so it looks nice and clean and pop it in this container, which is called a punnet. Once the punnet is full, it's stacked onto a tray and then taken to a really cold room called the cold store, which keeps the mushrooms fresh. When the mushrooms have cooled down, they go next door, into the packing room. Here the mushrooms are taken out of the trays and are put onto a conveyor belt. The punnets are weighed to make sure they have the right amount in, and then they go through this machine here, which wraps them in plastic. 
ready to keep them fresh on their journey to the shops. <laughs>